one ring size and surface area. The ring size of the average cat is 5 centimeters in length and 30 grams. Since the average cat is 60 centimeters long and 3.3 kilograms, the ring makes up 1 slash 12 of its length and 1 slash 110 of its mass. Thus, the average cat spring accounts for 0.9% of its total body mass, compared to 2% of total body mass in the average human. The surface area of a cat's cerebral cortex is approximately 83 centimeters. The modern human cerebral cortex is about 2,500 centimeters. Interestingly, cat rings have been shown to be more similar to human rings than other domesticated animals. According to researchers at Tufts University School of Veterinary Medicine, the physical structure of human rings and that of cats are very similar. They have the same lobes in the cerebral cortex the seat of intelligence as humans do. Human rings also function the same way, conveying data via identical neurotransmitters. To the learning cat. Cats learn by trial and error, observation and imitation echoing certain information much longer than dogs. In one study, it was found that cats possess visual memory ability comparable to that of monkeys. However, for short-term working memory, at least one study showed that dogs outperform cats for periods of time up to 60 seconds. 3. Intelligence by Read Ranking the intelligence of cats by read is popular among pet owners, veterinarians and others, but the practice tends to run into difficulties. In general, the subject of cat intelligence rankings tends to be subjective. Cat breeder Norman Ausputz states the following, as a rule, people seem to think the more active breeds have higher intelligence than the less active breeds. I will tell you that in feline agility, all breeds have done very well or very poorly, as the case may be. Having said that, there is no certified measure of cat intelligence and this general rule may be very anthropomorphic. Until there is a credible definition of what might be meant by cat intelligence and a way to measure it, any comment anyone will make about the subject is, at best, speculation. Four cat abilities and trick. Cats are traditionally hard to train as circus animals, mainly because unlike dogs who will do it out of loyalty or emotional reassurance, cats do not see the point of doing them without a direct benefit. While this is usually true, a human with a good relationship to a cat, where there is trust and good communication, can find a cat to be almost as trainable as a dog. Like dogs and people, many cats have active minds that thrive on stimulation, exploration and learning. Many of the same basic methods of training a dog shaping behavior, giving treats for correct responses and lavish praise and attention work extremely well when training a cat. Teaching a cat to sit for treats or meals is quite easy and gives a good base for further training. When training a cat, it is important to remember that like humans, cats will not continue to obey commands if their attention is elsewhere. They may become frustrated or bored, as humans do when trying to learn something new or difficult. When the cat's attention starts to wander, training time is over. However, their fine memory ensures that further training can compound. Cats are solitary animals by nature, unlike dogs who follow a pack mentality. If the cat has a good emotional relationship with their owners, training can still be a fun game. 4.1. Opening doors and windows Cats that are accustomed to being let outside or that want to get into their home may learn to open windows and doors. They are capable of learning different routes for entry and exit. For instance a cat might find the window in its owner's kitchen easier to open to exit the house, but to get in they might have to use the screen door in the backyard. Also, they may learn to open covered doors to get to food. Cat's paws are not as effective at manipulation as human hands, owing to lack of an opposable thumb, but they can for instance learn to operate door lever handles by pulling them down, even though gripping the handle is difficult for cat paws. Some polydactyl cats have extra digits with a degree of opposability which allow them to manipulate objects far more effectively. 4.2. Retrieving items from hard to reach places a cat playing with a wall may suddenly find that the wall is under the couch. The cat will try different ways, changing paws, position, and other elements the way a human would. 
This trial and error approach to puzzle solving can be demonstrated in the laboratory using Thorndike's puzzle boxes. In these boxes, cats must manipulate series of levers in order to escape. They initially achieve this by trial and error before committing the sequence to memory. They also use memory to reduce the amount of trial and error when encountering comparable novel situations. For example, new puzzle boxes the cat may also be taught to get treats from high and hard to reach places like on top of a refrigerator or in a cupboard. Using the same logic as it did with a toy, the cat will get to each treat. A cat that has figured out where the cat food is kept may find that the food is inside a large bag. It might try to get in the bag or open it by means of removing the clip. 4.3 Using the toilet. Because of their sensitive sense of smell, some cats prefer going outside to urinate and defecate and rarely go in the same spot twice. Kittens are typically trained by their mothers to use a litter box and cover up their waste, so litter training rarely requires human intervention. Once they understand where the litter box is, they will seek it out from then on. Cats can also be trained to make use of a toilet. 18. Some cats learn on their own after watching their owners, but for most cats, it is necessary to be taught by owners. In general, however, a toilet trained cat is a rare animal, and successful toilet training depends both on the willingness of the animal to learn as well as on the patience of the owner to teach. As a point of general interest, a course on cat toilet training can be found on a website devoted to legendary jazz bassist Charles Mingus. It is entitled The Charles Mingus Cat Toilet Training Program and appears to have been written sometime in the 1960s by the bassist himself. 19.4.4. Playing Fetch. Some cats can be trained to play fetch with a very degree of success, which is dependent on the cat and its mood. Siamese cats and Bengals are well regarded as a breed that naturally carries objects in their mouths. They are easy to train to fetch and carry. Other breeds such as the Maine Coon, Turkish Van, Savannah, and Angora cats are also well known for an almost dog-like liking of playing fetch. It is possible to get a cat to remain seated until an object is thrown. At that point, their sense of sight kicks in. As long as there is at least a remote chance of locating the thrown item, the cat will run off to find it. Once retrieved, waiting or a simple call is enough for the cat to return with the item and deposit it usually within arm's reach. Chasing an object in the air is a natural cat hunting behavior and many cats will chase down a thrown toy for the sheer enjoyment of running and catching. 4.5. Communication. Cat Communication. Cats, like many animals, communicate in a social environment in various ways. Some aspects of this behavior are simple, such as purring to express the desire for an enjoyment of attention, moving near the food bowl to get fed. Some remember what time they get fed and attempt to gain their owner's attention at that time every day, etc., and some are more complex, 